Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple warning system to give players warnings for specific reasons, plus Discord webhook login. So let's get started. If you have my plugin, you can get this model like a couple days early. I announced when I update in my Discord server and add new models to it, and then I make videos on it like a day or two later. So I'm just going to insert this uh, from my plugin, or you can just go to my Discord server, verify, and go to the video models channel uh, if you don't want to buy the plugin. So once you insert it, you'll have this uh, warn menu model. You want to take the warn menu folder and put that in replicated storage. And then you want to take the report system manager and put that in server script service. Now, in this report system manager script, to set it up, all you need to do is put your URL and your admins. And then you also need to set up the proxy. So let me show you how to do that. So you want to go to your Discord server. And then you want to go to server settings integrations webhooks and then copy your webhook url and then just put that right here now for admins you want to go to um you want to go to roblox and you want to go to the profile of your admins any admin you want to add and then in the url at the top uh you could see their little user id so just copy that and then put it in the table and if you want to add more just add a comma space and then add another one you can do that for as many user IDs as you want. And then we have log warnings right here. You can set this to true if you want it to log. But if you don't, then you can set it to false. But we're going to have it log for the tutorial. So now, uh, if you still don't have the Heroku proxy set up, you need to watch my video in the description on how to set it up. Um, but basically, you just have to put your URL and access key in the proxy module. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put mine there real quick. Okay, so after you put your URL and access key in there and have the server script set up, then it should be all set up. So you want to go ahead and click play, test it. And um, I have four warnings already because I was testing it, but this only shows up if you have a warning. If you don't have any warnings, then this won't show up. So you want to go ahead and click warn. It'll show down here and this menu will pop up. You have a list of all the players in the game and it updates like every time you open it again. So, and then you click it, click a player, and then type the reason. I'll just put test, give warning. And then it'll take a second to actually like process the warning. And then after it processes it, it'll pop up in your Discord server here. It'll show the player who was warned, and then it'll say was warned by, and then the admin who warned them. And then it'll show the reason. So this is actually pretty simple to set up. If you need help, link in the description below and make sure to subscribe because we're almost at 700 subs